Hey everyone, George here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a topic here that is maybe something you know about and maybe something you don't know about and that's called night feeding. Now night feeding is kind of controversial because of the possibility that you are uh, contaminating your tank. But I want to let you know that that's not the case typically if you can get your fish slowly to adapt to night feeding. So when we come back, we're going to talk about night feeding. In the meantime, if you have not subscribed uh, to the channel or given a like to any of my videos, now is the time to do that. Our channel is growing and it's growing because of people who are interested in the topics that we are talking about. And I truly, truly appreciate it. So hit that subscribe button, give us a like, Leave your comments down below, and of course, always share with your friends. So when we come back, we're going to talk about night feeding. Hang in there with me. We'll be right back. As I said in the intro, welcome back to the channel, and I appreciate you being here. Now, there's a reason why the lights are down so low, and I hope that you can uh, see me here. I tested this out a little bit. You should be able to see me pretty well. But there's a reason why the tank lights are off, and it has to do with the topic that we're talking about today. And uh, hopefully this is going to help many of you who ask me all the time, George, I'm frustrated. I don't know how to get my new discus to eat. And they're intimidated. They don't come out. But I see them wandering around the tank at night. And, uh, you know, but during the day when the lights are on or if I turn the lights on in the tank, I see them disperse, go to their hiding places in the tank, especially if you have a tank that's a well-planted tank like this one is here. Uh, there's a lot of places for discus to hide. Now this is kind of, kind of an island type uh, scape here, so we don't have a ton of hiding places, but we have just enough where smaller discus like these 2.5s or 3 inch discus can hide, and that's one of the things that you're going to have a problem with. Now if you notice, if you leave a small light on, now I have the luxury of having these built-in LEDs at the top here, that when I turn out all the rest of the lights or there's just enough light that filters down to keep these fish active all night long. And that's not a problem for them. Eventually you're going to quit doing that, but to get your fish to eat is what we are trying to accomplish here. Now the reason why these fish move around and are not so stressed out or not willing to uh, come out and uh, move around the tank and explore the tank a little bit more is because when you put new discus in a tank, now these were all added at this approximately the same time, within two or three days of each other. Um, this is, as I mentioned in my previous video, a tank now that I'm going to be using for all new discus that I get. And we're going to raise them up in here until they're big enough and they're doing all the things they're supposed to be, such as eating, the pecking order is out of the way, and all of those kinds of things where the fish are... Uh, well established and uh, you can move them to their larger tank or their permanent tank I should say and uh, this is something uh, that uh, is a problem uh, and that is getting your fish to eat and that is the number one thing we want to do is get those fish eating right away because fish that are eating are going to be less inhibited by the other tank mates in the tank and uh, if you uh, can't get them to do that during the day with all the lights on in the tank, uh, trying to turn the lights off during the day and having all the activity in the room and that sort of thing is not going to help things. But I do have a hack for you that really is helpful and that is leaving these small lights on and all the rest of the lights in your studio or in your uh, fish room or if you just have one tank, uh, leaving a small light on in an area that is going to give enough light to the tank to keep the fish alert and not sleeping, but give them an opportunity to sort of wander the tank and kind of explore the tank a little bit. And 
uh, not be intimidated. Now, if you have a sick fish, that's a whole nother thing here. If you have a fish that is not doing well because it has problems such as gill flukes or has an internal parasite or things like that, those are things that you are going to have to fix before you ever get your fish to eat. Sometimes uh, it uh, takes a while uh, to uh, get those fish figured out and once you do, what my recommendation is uh, before you try this night uh, feeding is to take those fish and isolate them either in a separate tank such as a hospital tank where you can uh, use medications specifically for whatever their problems might be and sometimes that's a little tricky figuring that out but eating is a very very important aspect of getting these fish to come around and do well and be healthy right away because fish that don't eat for long periods of time are you know they're not going to necessarily die but we want to get those fish eating as fast as we can so that they can become uh, bulked up and start to feel a little bit more sure about themselves in the tank and that is a fact a, a fish that is eating well is typically going to be one that can be dealt with as far as the pecking order goes and stuff like that. They get that confidence and once they get too weak though and they're not able to really uh, stand the, the uh, pecking order and they get picked on a little too much by one or two particular fish in the tank or whatever, uh, that's when it's hard to bring them back. And you'll notice that when they start to get that kind of pinched in look on their forehead. I've talked about that before in other videos. But we're not talking about that going that far at this point. We're talking about fish that have been added to your tank within a few days and you're noticing that not everybody's eating, but you're noticing that your fish are out, such as this little guy right here. I had some trouble with him because he was hiding all the time during the day and I noticed him wandering around the tank at night and I thought, geez, if I could only get him to eat. And then I thought about night feeding. This is the perfect opportunity to use that particular technique to get your fish to eat. Now one of the things you're going to need to do is get a food that is not going to be something that is going to foul up your tank uh, because uh, of fish not being able to see it all in the evening. Uh, don't be fooled by that. Fish can find food in the evening just as much as they can during the day because they have a real sharpness in the water to see things moving around them and if they think it's food they're going to go after it and you also have all these dither fish here as you see in this side over here that if whatever they uh, the discus don't eat those small little pieces of, uh, are going to get around as i said none of these fish are in that sleep mode so they're wandering the tank but let's get back to the main part of the subject now this is what they call a cube type food and you've seen it there's uh, lots of places that sell it i like this particular one put out by super cichlids i'm not trying to promote them or anything like that but this is a food that really really works great for me because it is 100 percent pure freeze-dried um, black worms and uh, they're uh, freeze-dried in a way that there's absolutely nothing in there that can hurt your fish whatsoever. Black worms are not known for typically hurting your fish even when they're alive, but this freeze-dried product I have found is an absolutely fabulous product. This comes in a couple of different varieties, some with garlic enhancements so that you can uh, get your fish to smell that garlic in the water. We've all used that technique to try to get fish to eat, but this is a great and a fantastic little food because what it does is it gives those fish that are slightly intimidated during the day, as I said, an opportunity to come out when they are like this at night, as you see, and come up and do a feed that they normally would not do. Now what happens is once you do that, and you've done that for a week or two, your fish, as you gradually turn the lights up gradually on your tank until you get to the point where your tank lights are on as they normally would be, you'll find that these fish just adapt and start to eat normally. Now again, as I said, a disclaimer on this is not for fish that are sick or dying with other problems. As I said, if they get that pinched in look around their forehead, there's something else going on and that's probably some kind of an internal parasite that has not been treated or gill flukes 
that are just bothering them so much that they just will not eat. So uh, make sure you've got all those things out of the way. Now let's get back to how I do this. Now these come, I'm going to get you a cube here and I'm going to show you. These come in these little cubes about this size here and there's a lot packed into these little cubes. It's very compressed and there's a lot of food in here. So I've already fed these fish this evening. I'm using this technique on this particular tank because as I said, I have a few of these 2.5s or three inch discus that are just not eating the way I would like them to. Let me put this up here so I don't have to hold on to it. And so this night feeding technique has become a godsend for this tank and I have had 100% success in doing this. So. For those of you, like I said, that don't have fish that are having problems medically, uh, that's a whole other thing where you need to isolate those fish and put them in a hospital tank. But if you have fish that are curious about the food and they're just not sure what to do or they're getting chased off by other fish in the tank, this is an opportunity. And this is when, for whatever reason, discus at night, discus that might be timid during the day, get very courageous for some reason in the evening with low light. So what I'm going to take, because I've fed these guys already, I'm going to take and just break off a small chunk of this here and put the rest back in the bag. And I am going to stick this to the glass in here and I want you to see how quickly these guys will get interested in this and start to feed off this. And as I said, there's a couple of little um, discus in here. There are the yellow melons that are a little bit smaller than the other guys and very, very intimidated um, to a certain extent by some of the fish in the tank. So let's go ahead and give this a try by just sliding this back. And I'm going to take and stick this to the glass. Pull my arm sleeve here so that I'm not uh, getting soaking wet here, but I'm gonna stick this to the glass. And you wanna make sure it's stuck pretty darn well because otherwise it's just gonna come off the glass. Now, as you can see, Within minutes, these fish will start feeding off this little cube that's on here. And uh, as you can see, one has already started to come up and feed. And once the other discus notice that one is feeding, they get curious and they will come up to the glass. Even in these low light type situations, they're going to come up to the glass and they're going to start feeding off that. Now, as you can see, the little guy here that I was talking about that was giving me all the problems, he's already up there working on getting anything that's coming off it and he's picking at this little cube. Now these cubes are kind of the key to this whole night feeding thing here. And what that is, is uh, what I mean by that I should say is that these cubes are something that you can isolate your fish to a certain area of the tank and make sure that they are actually um, feeding off uh, an area in which you know that that food is not going to be moving all around your tank and uh, uh, polluting the tank. Now this kind of food that I'm using here is very low impact as far as uh, contaminating water with extra food and that sort of thing. So you want to pick something like that. And I found that these black worms are the ideal situation. Now that's not the complete diet, obviously, for your fish. But what I would tell you is that it is a good start for them. It will keep them healthy until they decide that it's okay to come out with the rest of the fish during feeding time and try other foods. You want to get them on flake. You want to get them on, uh, uh, frozen foods, if you can find some that you really like. Um, I'm not into uh, blood worms or anything like that that are frozen. I don't like them getting into habits of that. But these black worms are very benign in that sense and uh, they're not something that your fish are going to just go for that and they won't eat anything else. I have found that in the last couple of days, even when I've tried adding this cube, uh, stuck to the glass here. Now that's stuck really hard. So these guys are going to be picking at that and it's going to take them a while to get all of that off there. And uh, But the uh, frozen foods and those kinds of things, they will start to process and eat those kinds of foods as you get through this time in the tank where they're afraid to eat. Once they start eating, they're just going to see food as, uh, as food and a source of eating 
but it may take them a week or two to get very comfortable with the rest of the fish in the tank. For whatever reason, uh, the other fish aren't picking on them in the evening when it's dark like this, and that's probably because of the line of sight is that uh, the tank is somewhat dark, but it's light enough to where they can see the food and go after it. Now, you'll see other fish that will come up and try to get parts of that food. Now, I just fed these guys um, probably two hours ago, and they ate a ton of this stuff, so there may not be um, the, uh, you know, I don't know what the right word is, but there may not be that uh, real uh, willingness to go out and eat what's on the glass here simply because they're, they're kind of full and they don't need it. But as you can see, uh, the ones that I want to eat that haven't been eating are going to be the first ones that are going to come up and try to eat this cube because they're hungry. They haven't eaten during the regular feeding during the day and now that the lights are down, you're doing this night feeding and they're able to uh, feel confident in themselves to come out and grab some of this food that's on here and uh, really start to bulk up again and not lose that, uh, that uh, heftiness to their body that they really need to sustain themselves and be healthy in your tank. I hope this was a helpful tip for you for those who are struggling with getting your discus to feed. Uh, this can be a real problem and it can be real scary for those of you who are maybe first time discus uh, keepers. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time. I've known about night feeding for a long time. It's a technique that I typically will use if I have a few fish in my new tank, a quarantine tank or uh, I'm using this as a quarantine tank. If you hadn't seen that in one of my videos a few couple of videos ago, this is now going to be my, my quarantine tank. So we're going to see lots of fish come through here for a period of time and then you'll see new fish being stocked in here as others move on to their regular tanks and uh, that sort of thing. So uh, try night feeding. If you're having trouble with getting your fish to eat, and you're worried about it and it's kind of keeping you up at night and I, I, I know it can. You've, you've spent a lot of money sometimes on discus fish and uh, it's, it's a little bit scary when you see someone not eating and someone timid and at night you're noticing that they're moving around the tank and your, your first thought is why are they moving around the tank so much at night when there's just a little bit of light in the tank, they're wide awake and they're moving around exploring the tank, night feeding is your answer. And I'm gonna tell you, they will go after food uh, within a couple of days, almost guaranteed. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below and I will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Sometimes I miss people and I apologize for that, but 90% of the time I would say that uh, I'm able to get back to you rather quickly and answer your questions. So if you're having, like I said, trouble with getting some of your fish to eat, and it's not just discus, I'm talking about lots of different kinds of fish. Angels will sometimes behave this way, although they're a little bit more vigorous eaters, and you'll get other kinds of fish as well that will sometimes kind of shun food uh, at first when they're new to a tank, just simply because they're a little bit timid by the rest of uh, the fish in the tank and that sort of thing. This is a absolutely equalizer as far as everyone in the tank. There's no fighting going on and everyone is having an opportunity to get up here that haven't eaten and get a chance to eat food. They know it's there, trust me. Even during the day when they're snubbing the food and they're hiding, they know that that food is there. They're just a little bit timid and scared to come out and get it. This gives you the upper hand and gives those fish also an opportunity to make sure that they're getting some food. So thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. Again, like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. That's how the channel grows. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry about the lighting situation, but as I said, we did this on purpose for a reason, and I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for joining me, and we will see you on the next one. Until then, we're out of here.